Hello YouTube, today is, uh, let's see, Saturday, September 3rd, 2016, and it's uh, a little before 5 a.m. I've got in front of me several micro-inductor drones today, so, and some upgrade kits. So if you buy one at the store, uh, if you buy a bind and fly micro inductor, this is what you get. It comes with a couple little bodies, and the stock motors have white wires. No camera, just flies around. There's some upgrades you can do to these. One of the upgrades you can do is known as a tiny whoop upgrade, which is what this guy has. When you do a tiny whoop upgrade, you get uh, the camera, which you have to solder in yourself right here, and you get replacement motors, which have different colored wires, purple and blue, and uh, black and white, and you also get two uh, better battery packs, but that's not all, there's more. You can also upgrade the Tiny Whoop with an aluminum kit like this one where you have the camera and the better motors and the better frame. The frame is made out of carbon fiber on this, a thin piece of it, and the cans are made out of aluminum, anodized and it's very nicely made. And so today, what I'm going to do is build another one, because we got another upgrade kit. This is a Tiny Whoop frame that we uh, put motors in and then salvaged parts off to fix another one. But these motors are still good, and I'm going to build an upgrade with this kit from Recon Heli. And uh, what's interesting is this stuff is uh, made in Vietnam. Um, so that's what you get. I think this is about 50 bucks or something. And uh, so let's just take a look what's in the box real quick. Okay. So, let's see. What do we get? We get uh, four motor cans. And the motor cans are two-piece. And they have a rubber bush in there so the motor will sit in and then it gets kind of held in place with that rubber bush. Also got the two little straps for the battery pack to slide through when you put the battery through underneath. Uh, they replicated that with uh, those plastic pieces that will screw to the carbon fiber frame which is right here. This thing is like made out of paper. It's so thin. And then uh, you get the screws to put it together. Uh, some double sided sticky tape to hold the logic board down in the middle of the frame there. And uh, the O rings are actually just to kind of keep the wires arranged. This one here has one of the upgrade pieces on it, which I can take off. It just kind of st stiffens the frame a little bit. And you can see where the O rings are right here just kind of slides down over there to keep the wires uh, out of the out of the blades so okay let's see if we can do a little more assembly here a uh, couple finer points that I've discovered if you use the Raycon upgrade kit like this as you can see on the original you can screw it down in three places okay and it goes into a plastic boss all the way around on this design here, because the chassis is made out of a thin piece of carbon fiber, the screws, actually there's only two positions available. This one here, there's no, there's no position here where you can attach that front. It just kind of sets loose, which is okay. But the, uh, the other two positions, what you're doing is actually threading into this hole right here. So there's not a whole lot of uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, surface area there, uh, and actually what I found out is that if you build this with the factory tape that comes in the package, it's too thick. Normally you would use this tape and stick the logic board down, just just adhere it right down to the chassis like this but uh, that tapes too thick 
I had to use, uh, I found some other office style foam, foam tape that was a little bit thinner and uh, that allows the camera, the 3D printed mount to actually sit flat. If you use the thicker tape, when you tighten this down, it actually will bend the chassis and these motor cans will end up sitting kind of cockeyed. So it's important to use the, the thinner tape. Uh, the other thing that I found is that uh, when installing the motors, it's kind of tricky because uh, this end is is got a nice chamfer on it, but the end with the brushes does not, and that's the end that you have to force into this opening. Uh, what I found that worked best for me is a I call it a bench buddy, a block of metal with some holes in it, so that you can set the motor can down flush in there and apply force down. So that way you're not really tweaking anything. You're just pushing on the motor can a little bit and down it goes and it fits It fits quite well doing it that way. So uh, the other thing is that when assembling the uh, carbon fiber to the chassis, um, if you have like a little uh, pan of ice deal like this guy here, uh, you can you know clamp the motor rings up in here where the screws are visible and that makes it a little easier to uh, handle that part while you're putting the, putting the chassis on it. So, anyway, those are a few of the, uh, the finer points, I guess, uh, on the upgrade that I've discovered so far. And having done that, we've got this one here. It's pretty awesome. And uh, very shortly, uh, this one should be wearing those motor cans and that chassis. So, so, so I have the chassis assembled. This is what you look like before you put the motors in. These screws are a little bit longer by design because they support the uh, battery mount strap piece here. So that's the uh, the new bottom and uh, the battery pack uh, goes and rides inside here. So now we just it just needs to have uh, the motor cans and the logic board is attached and then this thing should be ready for, uh, for a maiden flight. Okay, so uh, let's see. We've got the uh, micro inductor selected. There it is. Uh, here's the craft fully assembled. Let's, let's see if it works. Maiden flight. Haven't ever tried it before. Oh, I've got a solid blue light. That's good. Let's see. Uh, okay, here we go. Wow, look at that, it flies, awesome sauce.